Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to um, factor out this polynomial. That means write, write it as a product of its factors. Now, when looking at this one, um, it looks pretty crazy, right? So the first thing we want to do is say, all right, what are some common terms that we look at? Well, we notice each term has p, right? So we want to say, well, p to the highest exponent can be divided into each one of these. And remember, they can be divided because when I have an exponent, let's just say you know, x to the a divided by x to the b, it can evenly divide into it as long as I can take a minus b, right? Because when we divide one, um, a variable with an exponent into another variable with the same base, all we do is subtract the exponent. So as long as I can do that and I have a positive number, then it evenly divides into it. So I look at this and say, all right, what is the largest exponent of my base, of my, um, base p that I can subtract from each one of these? And the largest one would be p to the 3. So when I factor out p to the third power, I'm left with, and pretty much what I'm doing is p to the fifth divided by p, third, p to the third, which is pretty much p to the 5 minus 3, which equals p squared. So I'm left with 54 p squared plus 9. And if I do it for 4, that would be p, um, p cubed minus p to the 4, or 4 minus 3, which would be p to the first, which is just p, plus 3p to the 0, which is just 1. OK, so then I rewrite that as 54p squared plus 9p plus 3. We don't really write p to the 0 power or p to the first. We just leave them as that. All right, so now let's go and look at the numbers. right? And a lot of times we do this at the same time, but I'm kind of breaking it down because this um, has a kind of a teaching aspect for us. Um, now the next thing we want to do is, all right, is there a common denominator or a common factor for 3, 9, and 54? Well, we know that 3 divides into 54, right? And so therefore, we know that the, com the large, greatest common factor between 9 and 3 would be 3, right? So the only factors of 3 is 3 and 1. Now, when we're looking for a greatest common factor, we always want to look at the smallest number and say, all right, what are the factors of that? What are the largest factors of that that we can divide into all the other numbers? So obviously, 1 is a factor of everything. So we're not going to be concerned about 1. We just want to look at the factor of 3. Is 3 a common factor of 9? Yes, right? Does 3 a common factor of 54? Well, I need to divide. Does 3 evenly divide into 54? And yes, it does. It goes in there 18 times. So therefore, I can actually factor out a 3. So now, again, a lot of times we always like to try to do the greatest common, but sometimes you might not be able to do the greatest common. Just if you know a common factor, factor it out. And then if, you, if it's not the greatest common factor, you'll be able to factor, um, factor out another factor again. So when I, t divide, when I factor out 3, I'm technically dividing 3 by each one of my terms. So 54 divided by 3 is 18, p squared. 9 divided by 3 is just going to be 3p. And 3 divided by 3 is going to give me 1. Again, now let's look at it. Do each and now do any of these terms share any common factors? And since no, they do not, I know that 3p cubed was my greatest common factor. Um, and I can always go back and again by applying distributive property to make sure that I factored that out correctly. Thanks.